why pay resale when you can get shoes that look exactly like the originals why that's just my question let me know in the comments what up youtube this is your boy diy Kari coming at you with another sneaker review today we got a special uh, special mm, not so much because i i don't really like green but we got a big shoe coming from across the water from dh gate yes this is going to be a ua review so before we get into the shoe, I'm going to get this out of the way right now. This is an informational video. This is my opinion and my opinion only. I honestly are just, I am, not are, I am just showing you another way to save money, keep money in your pocket and still get the shoes you want. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. I probably gave it away when I said green, or I probably didn't. But this is a shoe from DH Gate. And I already got two of them. You saw those reviews already. This is the third and final one to the collection. And it finally came in after weeks. It was literally almost a month, I think because they got postponed because of their holiday. Then they had a festival after the holiday. So this just got postponed. But this shoe is going to be the last one of the collection, which is going to be Buttercup. A sexy, sexy green shoe. And like I said, I do not really wear green shoes, but this shoe I had to have all three. So this is from DH Gate. I think with shipping and everything, I paid 37 bucks. Honestly, for $37, this turned out great as hell. Go ahead and show you the other shoe. They turned out real good for $37. They did not come with a box, which is cool. I don't keep my boxes no way. And they do have shoe trees. Let me know what y'all think about these shoe trees. Because when I saw these shoe trees, I, caught, I honestly laughed because it was funny to see styrofoam shoe trees in the shoes that was legit funny as hell um they did come with laces which were all white i don't know what i did with them but it came with some all white laces which i i'm not gonna put in if i do put in other laces it's gonna be a different color that i can match with this so yeah Damn, I wish I knew what I did with those laces. I don't know. Okay, so I found them. White laces, like I said, came in a Nike SB bag with a nice Nike SB on it. These are Nike SBs, Power Puffs, and Again, these are from DH Gate. I, like I said, I believe they were $37. I can post that at the top right there to show y'all exactly what I paid. I know the shoe itself was 11 bucks. I can't remember what shipping was that made it come out to 37. That's gonna be the insole. But these shoes, 
to come from DH Gate to be $37, I'm not mad at it. I don't have no complaints. That's going to be an insult for that one. Again, I don't know what it is about these other colors, but my bubbles is not vibrant. My bubbles is not vibrant like these. These show up way better. And that's the other one from DH Gate, which is right here. Been wearing this for about two or three weeks now. Still holding up. And that was $37 also. But this has the Nike Time SB. Again, this is Buttercup. Let's see. And I will have on feet showing that this whole border, which is in black, it shows up way better because it's reflecting. So it shows up way better when the lights are off and where light hits it. Like I said, it's reflecting. So if it's low light, you'll see the rainbow and these, in my opinion, are definitely going to be third. I like the blue ones and the pink ones way better, but it's only because I don't like green and the material that these are actually made out of. It's like that, I don't know, that material that makes noise, that annoy you when you rub up against it. This is that material. At least it annoys me. But like I said, DH Gate, $37. Why pay resale when you can get shoes that look exactly like the originals. Why? That's just my question. Let me know in the comments. Why pay resale if you can get the freaking UAs that look exactly the same and save yourself some money? Make it make sense. But like I said, I actually like I love these a lot, but they're not my favorite out the pack. It's going to be Bubbles, Blossom, then these. It's just something about that green. I don't know. It's, you definitely can't match a lot with it. But I got them in the repertoire. I got them in the starting three. I don't know. Not starting three. These literally might sit for a while before I wear them. I'm just being... Just being honest, they might sit because it's green. What the hell am I going to wear with them? Back to the review, though. Get this out of the way so we can get out of here. It does have the fat tone, just like the other three. They could have did, which I know it's going to crease anyways when you wear it. There's already creases on the inside like I said as you wear it it's going to crease anyway so that's not really a big deal it has the um the strap on the inside just like most SBs this is a size 10 and all in all I'm happy with them Nothing's wrong with them. The only thing I could point out that did happen is a flaw, but not really going to bother me, is that right there. And same thing right here, the indents, but that's not really a big deal. It's going to crease eventually anyway, so it is what it is. Like I said, I got these from DHgate. 
and I paid only $37 with shipping. Give or take $2. I'm not pretty sure how much shipping was, but I think it was like $20 something dollars. <clears throat> and yeah, I got these. I'm complete with the collection now. Got Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup now. And my favorite from one to three is going to be Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup because it's green. But that's it. That's all I got for y'all. If y'all want these shoes, I will send them a link to you if you ask for it. But I'm not posting a link. I'm not getting paid for this. So no reason for me to put nothing. This is just my review on the shoes because I wanted them. So there's no links to nothing unless you want it, unless you want to go check them out. It's going to be your boy DIY Kari signing out. Peace.